Nil nil away from home, Dave. Sometimes there's a good result. You'll take that nil nil, but there were opportunities there. You possibly thought you could have got more than the point. Yeah, look, first and foremost, it's, it's a terrific clean sheet. You know, they've had one half chance near, towards the end of the first half. Will's made a save near post. The lads got in behind from a tight angle. But then Chris Porter had the best chance probably the whole game. He's chipped the goalkeeper and he's just put it wide. We've hit the post. We've had one right at the death where Chris hadn't quite laid it off properly. And if anyone was going to win the game or should have won the game, it was us. But then you come to a team like this, who's second in the league and going well. And for dominate for long periods, you know, and restrict them to, to nothing really. You know, it's a, it's a really pleasing performance. I'd say it's probably our best away performance. I'd say. Um, yeah, it could have been better with what, a, a goal. Uh, of course, but I do think the lads put in a right shift uh, against a good team. Were they the best we've played? Probably over 90 minutes. X2 were good for 45 minutes, but then we were better than them for 45 minutes. I thought they were a real good team. I do. And I thought it was two real good teams. Anyone who's been tonight and said that's a, a terrific advert for the League 2 football. And, I thought they enjoyed watching it, not have any money. Does it show where you're coming from and where your team's emerging too, because of the way they actually set up uh, being the home side? When you looked at their team sheet, there might have been a surprise that you, what you've seen. Yeah, look, they, they set up to let us have the ball and, and, and counter-attackers um, and, and make sure they defended deep so that they didn't get exposed because we've got good players. And, and you, know, you could say, if, if you're Mark Cooper, you'd say that's worked to treat because we haven't scored a goal, but then... I do think on another day we would have scored um, because we didn't create enough to score goals. But we'll take the point. It's a good point. Um, we've got another long trip on Saturday in the FA Cup and we've got to make sure that we perform like we did tonight. And if we do, then we've got a great chance of progressing. Like you say, you would have loved to take the three points, but sometimes along the line, in a whole season where you're playing a lot of the, you know, the games away from home as well, to get a, a nil-nil can be a real bonus for, for, for the team. That it shows that there's something else in there, not just rushing sides away at three or four nil sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you see, you, you saw a committed team that, that knew what they were doing, they were well disciplined, worked their socks off, and deserved at least a point. Certainly deserved the clean sheet that they got. Um, and like I said, we were the ones that were, if anybody were going to win, we might have just shaded it on the scorecards, you know. It might have been a split decision, but. If it was going to be, a, if it was a boxing match, we'd have, we'd have, we'd have won. You know, I'd say on the scorecards, just it's hard to keep your place in the starting eleven. You have an Imbula at centre off with a clean sheet. You have Ollie Finney scoring two goals on Saturday, and both of them couldn't start in your team. That shows that they've got everybody's got to be on the toes, and you have to make those decisions for for the games. Yeah, Ollie understood where I'm coming from. And he gets it, you know, what do you have done as well as Greeny tonight? Nobody knows, it's a hypothetical question, you know. I thought Greeny was terrific. <laughs> I thought the midfield three put in half per shift and, and they're going to have to rest up and, and get ready for Saturday. And, and you never know, all they might be playing, we'll look at easily and we'll pick a team to try and win the game. And we know whether it's Greeny, Ollie, Tom, James, Ryan, it doesn't matter who's in the middle of the midfield because they're all good players. And, and we're doing it for the benefit of the team. It's not, it's not personal, you know. We're just Christian play the last 15 minutes is needed, you know, because we want to just pick up a little niggle. So, you know, it's a precautionary thing. So we'll, we'll you know, it's, we need all the squad. I said that, and, and that's that's the case. James Jones comes on the pitch today, and you know he'll play some more minutes. I'm sure he will. That's that's the purpose of having, you know, 24, 25 players, and not just 18. You know. And the ball got to be ready. They used to say when Stoke City were in the Premier League, going to the Britannia Stadium, as it was called then, it's always hard to go on a cold November, December night. It's been a wet night and a very heavy night in uh, the Forest Green. And again, a testament to your attitude of your players to, to get something out of the game. It wasn't too bad. <laughs> Every time I've been here, it's lasted down like monsoon. <laughs> it was tropical tonight. <laughs> I'm even a jumper. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah. You know, you've, you've got to come to places like this. Tuesday nights, we've been to Orient already, we've been to Crawley already. Um, and they're, they're not easy places to go, you know. The, the crowd was a bit stoked up. Yeah, there's not many of them, but they make some noise and you've got to accept that. You know, that's just part and parcel of football and you've got to make sure that you play well and play to your levels. And like I said, I thought our lads did. I thought they were terrific. Thanks, Jim. So it shows some maturity not to fall into any of their traps, really, because I think, on a, on a, you know, 
uh, 12 months ago, 18 months ago, might have come away with a 1 0 defeat. Played the same, but ended up. Yeah. I, th- I think he was spot on. We, me and Kenny were talking. I said to Kenny after about an hour, I said, I think subs. And he went, I'm not sure. And, you know, <laughs> we, I'm going, do we go for it? It was only Finney come on to get us a goal. It was James Jones come on to make sure we don't concede. And sometimes you go, that's, 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 well, that's me learning my lessons, I suppose, and maturity. But the players, like I say, I thought they were terrific. They never, they never crumbled, they never succumbed. And that's age, maturity, number of games, you know, not wilting, not letting men get on top of them, because they're men. You know, they finish, we finished the game with they're strong and stronger, probably. You know, like I said, Port's had a chance in injury time to lay someone off and we should score. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it was a terrific point, and at least, at the least we deserved.